Oh, it's on. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Um, you're in the spa room at Tangle Hair Salon, and tonight is our Q&A about laser hair removal. So we've done some posts um, all this week asking clients, and in the salon, asking clients what questions they have about our new technology and the new services that we're offering. And we have a list, and we're going to talk first talk about the laser and what it is and why we chose it, and then we'll get into some of the questions. Um, I think first we should show it so we can turn it on, because it does make a little hum in the background, if you can hear it. Hi, Cindy. Thanks for watching. Um, I think Cindy got a chance to see it, and she actually held the handpiece. So thanks, Cindy. Um, Patricia's there. Yay. Hi. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, so, Megan. Here's our sharp light rapid laser. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Well, maybe show the two different hand pieces. Okay, so this one here is for um, the hair removal part. Um, yeah, so it's quite heavy. It like, is a little bit heavy. <laughs> it's like got a solid hose solid to, to, it. to it. Yeah, and very flexible to getting around the body. Yeah. And then we have this one here. It's a little bit of a smaller tip, and this is for um, the facial rejuvenation part. And then Megan can put in her code, and then it'll show the different settings. So it's very customizable, and we'll talk about why we do consultations for each client. So you heard the fan coming on? Um, so she'll put in things like what your skin type is, uh, how dark to light the medium the hair is, the texture of the hair, and um, and then she puts in some specifics on the laser, and then we can t customize it for each person, but not just for each person, um, for their body, which area on the body we're doing. So facial rejuvenation could be a totally different setting than you would your body. If you were doing a chin, it might be totally different than if you were doing your toes, head to toe, um, but it's all completely customizable. Yeah. So I think we'll turn it off just so that we can talk and we can get into some of our questions. A little switch back. So first, I wanted to say why we chose Sharp Light because of course there's like so many lasers on the market. Oh, hi Lael, thank you for watching, miss you. Um, Colleen, hi. Um, yeah. Um, so Sharp Light is at every spa show that me and Megan go to. We see Sharp Light and have always checked them out at all the spa shows. And it was never quite the right time, but this year there was some more incentives. And because Megan and I were off, uh, we could do our training while we were in lockdown. So that saves some time um, and <laughs> use our time wisely. <laughs> Megan and I both have our skin therapist certificates from years. And both of our schools um, use laser, lose this brand, Laser Sharp Light, and their school as their technology. Um, so we're familiar with that brand. And I think Mariah just finished nail tech school, and they also use this brand. So it's very well known to us. Um, it's made in Israel, and it's in over 60 countries. So it's just well known and staple in our industry, and we know that we're going to get the results. So that's why we bought a brand that, that's reliable for us, because we want to be able to deliver results and guarantee our work. So... Um, and the training was great. Um, we had it down at their facility, plus they came here. Um, yeah, and there's lots more attachments and more things we can do, so we'll see how it goes and what more pieces we add to it, because it's very exciting, and it's addicting once you get going. Try one party part and do the next, and yeah. Okay, so I think that was um, mine on why we tried it. Um, Meg, do you want to talk about what laser hair removal is, and then we'll go sure, into our question. Yeah. Yeah, so um, laser hair removal is pulses of laser light that um, go under the skin to destroy the hair follicle, um, giving you more of a permanent result. Um, you may need to do just yearly touch-ups just to touch up any hair that does grow back. Um, but that's the gist of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then the first question is why do we do consults? And it's an industry standard. It's just best practice to be doing consults before this type of service so that we can customize all the settings and Megan has it in her notes for your file. Um, and also there's quite a bit of a medical history to fill out. I think it's, it's a few pages. It's a few. Um, and we have it set up that it emails it to you as soon as you book the consultation. Consultations are complimentary. 
Um, and it just gets you an idea in the spa room with Megan, a chance to um, check out the laser, see what it feels like, because we actually do a pulse or two um, on that area that you're going to do. Um, and then you can experience laser and see if that's the right fit for you. There is some contraindications, the biggest one being whether your skin is tanned. Because if your skin is already tanned, then we'd want to wait a little while until your tan fades before we do laser removal um, or a facial rejuvenation. Um, and, but there is some health, there's some medications that might, um, might affect it. You'd want to be off Accutane and different things like that. So it's just a good gap. Um, and, and even um, if you've had laser at another facility before, we still want to do a consultation with you so that we can pick the right settings for you um, and just go over any details because sometimes your life changes and things that you might not remember. Um, and it's again different from each body part. So if you're coming in and you want to do m multiple body part tests in one um, consult, that's possible. And then we can write down the settings and we'll know that when you're ready to use the service. Uh, that is why we, we do that. Um, the, there's a couple of medical conditions we talked about. Anything else, Megs? Tan skin is the biggest that you need yeah. to wait for it. So right now, um, our kind of our intro promotion is either, I'm gonna show you a little card is either underarm and bikini, because those areas tend not to be tanned, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or a Brazilian wax, and both of those, like, either of those packages are $100 right now. Um, so it's one session, um, and it gives you a chance to try out that service, and those are gonna be like the most popular of our laser services. So if you wanted to try an underarm and bikini, or a Brazilian, um, we can do that for you, um, and that's our intro pri pricing. Our pricing are on our website with all the packages, and we have PayRight on our website now. So that means that you can buy a bigger package and divide your payments so that um, it breaks it up a little bit for you. So that is why we do consultations. And right now we have a, um, a $25 gift card that we're gonna be giving out for somebody, oh, pardon me, it's a $50 on our little, if you've seen this advertising before, it's $50. We're gonna be doing um, a giveaway with all our consultations till September 8th is when Meg's back. Um, so if, you get, if you're interested at all, definitely book a consultation so you can try it out. And, um, and then you'll be added to that draw. That's our consultation. So the next question someone wrote in is, what is the difference between laser hair removal and waxing? Yes, so the laser is more of a permanent method of hair removal. Um, and with the laser, you do want to shave the hair in between. Where um, waxing, you want to grow out the hair and not um, shave it. Um, what else? And again, with the laser, you might need just the yearly touch-ups, where waxing you do have to do over and over again. Um, with the laser, you will probably need about four to eight sessions, and you'll get about 80 to 95% reduction of the hair. Yeah. Um, our next question comes from Jody, who is an ambassador for us for laser. So she was in here a, um, a week ago and had some lasering done on her arms and we posted some pictures and she's going to be, her picture is going to be used for a lot of our marketing. Um, and she said the pain level for a laser, because that is all, a lot of people ask that, will it hurt? Um, so a couple of our ambassadors have had laser before and they come in. And you think it's going to be like waxing, right? You think that there's yeah. going to be a big pull in it. It's mm -hmm. quite a big device. It's a medical grade device. So you almost like tense yourself yeah. thinking it's going to hurt. But everyone said the pain level is between like a one and a two. It really doesn't feel anything at all or slightly, slightly. Um, the tip of the, the head on the, um, on the laser device, there's a crystal stone on it with a sapphire. And it gets cold. Um, so there's two areas in there. And it's frozen with water to minus eight degrees. So when it touches the skin, um, it's left on for a few seconds and it almost freezes the skin or numbs the skin before it pulses. Um, and then the flash of light comes. So you really mostly feel just the cold air. And if you do feel anything, it would just be like a little flick, almost like okay. a, a flick of a nail or, or an elastic, a yeah. mild, mild elastic. You really don't feel anything. And we've had um, clients in personal areas where you think you'd be a bit more sensitive and it's um, the same thing. And of course we have settings. So if our clients say it all, oh, that, 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 was, a, that was a lot of a pulse, we can dial it down. Um, and in some cases, if we don't feel anything, we might turn up the setting for some coarser hair. And we actually want to smell the hair burning. So that's kind of a unique thing too. So yeah. when Megan does the test pulse on, let's say an arm, 
you can actually smell the hair burning. It's not the, the hair on the surface of the skin, it's the hair beneath the, the, the layers of the dermis that's actually burning, um, and that hair will not grow back. So when we say the first session, 20% um, of your hair will be destroyed, and then um, as you come back for more treatments, it's really important to pre-book your appointments so that um, we get it in the cycle that the hair grows. Um, so Megan's going to advise you when you leave for your consultation when you should come in and how often your treatments should be in between. And it can change as the hair gets softer. Yes. Because every time you come, the hair will be reduced, but also the coarseness of the hair will soften. Um, it can change the texture as well. Okay, our next question. Um, will it hurt with mine from Jody? Um, Does it work on blonde or gray hair? Does it work on blonde or gray hair? Me or you? No. <laughs> so if we say the laser is great to start out when you're younger because you're going to get more longevity out of it, your lifetime of hair removal. Um, but once the hair has gone gray, it's too late for the laser to get it. The laser is light therapy and it's working with um, the pigment of the follicle. And if the hair has gone completely white, it's too late to grab that. Um, if the hair is blonde, there is a lot of blondes that have pigment in their follicle, and that would be based on the consultation. So if you're not sure if you're a candidate for the area of the body that you were hoping for, um, definitely book a consultation anyways, and Megan can let you know that. Um, in some cases, we can actually tweeze one strand and look under the mag light and see if the follicle is dark or not, um, and we'll, we'll know whether, whether it'll be able to grab that or not. Um, some ladies in my chair often say, what about my chin? Because I have gray hairs, I have salt and pepper. Um, so in that case, we would reply, it will get the pepper, but not the salt. So, so that's kind of a key to remember. Um, so try to get, if you're thinking about laser at all, if that's something that would be interesting for you, um, try to do that sooner in life rather than later where your hair might, might turn to white and then it might be too late. So that is the answer on that question. Um, our VIP client and very longtime client, Lauren, wrote in, and she asked if laser hair removal, or laser, if our new technology can help her with her large pores. So Meg will answer that question and talk about the facial rejuvenation yes. attachment. So the facial rejuvenation part of the laser will help to reduce um, the size of large pores. Um, it also helps to uh, smooth out fine lines, wrinkles, also helps to get rid of pigment, those age spots. Um, what else we got? Broken capillaries was big in our training. Yeah. We have some before and after pictures. Yeah, we'll rosacea to help yep. tone down redness, and it helps to uh, produce collagen. Which is huge because most of us know that um, after the age of 30, which mm -hmm. is me, uh, we start to lose our collagen and our skin elasticity changes. Um, so this is a great fighting tool for that. So we'll probably do another question and answer, I think. Yeah. I think that'll be great. So we'll come back on another day and, and talk about all the great things about facial rejuvenation. So we have some more before and after pictures and some yes. models to talk to you about. So that'll be good. Terry, I see you're on. Oh, so I saw that you were in the salon. Thanks so much. Hi. Um, Christy. Oh, there's Lauren. I hope you heard your question. We, we just answered your question. <laughs> Thank you for submitting. Okay. Um, our next question question is for me and how many treatments do you need to see great results and I would say like most clients you're going to see results in four treatments even the first treatment you notice that your hairs are growing in sparser and lighter um, and that's one of the reasons why we invested in such great technology um, but to completely be hair free um, four to six treatments and a maximum of eight is what I would say for most people. If we're talking about a man's full back or, or a coarse chest, um, we would probably need eight treatments. Um, but Megan, again, the consultation is so important for that because you can, can get an idea of what to expect and as you go along in your treatments. Um, and then we usually say because women have hormones and um, different times in our life our hair might change, um, yearly touch-ups are recommended. So you could come in and depending, not everybody's yeah. going to need a yearly touch up, but um, if you did come in for a yearly touch up, then you know you, your hair is going to be hair free for a lifetime. So that that is very cool. That's the biggest advantage of laser hair removal, that it's not going to grow back. Yeah. Um, and it's really important to follow the protocols. Um, there, I'll go grab it while you're doing the next question sure. and talk about some of the protocols and the things, mm. um, the t things to keep in mind with laser hair removal. Um, how long does the hair need to be in the, at the appointment? 
Yeah, that's Megan's question. I'm gonna grab that consult card. Um, so at the consultation, you wanna have a little section shave just so we can do the test spot there. But for your actual um, appointment, you wanna shave it all. Um, no plucking in between, no waxing. Um, just shave it. Yeah. Okay. What are we on? Uh, what do I need to bring? Am I on the same thing? What yeah. do I need to do and bring? This one. Oh, it's mine. I'm gonna go back and do this. Yeah. This is the um. This is a little card that we send you home with after a and after a consult. And um, there's two sides to it. One side says before your laser hair appointment, and the other side says after. It's basically your instruction card, but it's gonna give you some like tips and tricks. So like 12 hours prior to your appointment, um, we don't even put it sunblocks on because then there's going to be um, a product on the skin and we want it to be clean and fresh. Um, we want you to confirm your appointments so that it keeps Megan and I organized. And you also have your consultation forms that are all filled out. Um, two weeks prior, you don't want to be using exfoliation because you're going to be irritating the skin and um, no glycerin appointments, um, nothing that would irritate the skin. Discontinued um, retinol and any acid products. Uh, microdermabrasion or peels in two weeks to give it a break before your laser hair removal treatment. Um, and if you were using any bleaches um, on some lip lines would be popular, um, discontinue that for two weeks just so that we can actually see the hair. Um, 48 hours, so just before, um, you're going to stop using any um, perfumed products or any essential oils on the hair or in that area. And if there's any new changes, you're going to let your esthetician know because from one appointment to the next, there might be some lifestyle changes. Um, and if you need to cancel, let us know between 24 and 48 hours so that we can fill in that spot for someone else and get you rebooked for a time that does work. And then four to eight weeks prior to your appointment, tanning and sunbeds. So that's a big key with laser hair removal, that you don't want the hair, you don't want that area of the skin to be tanned because it is light therapy and more exposure to light could cause a soft um, sunburn. So you don't want that. Um, and same as afterwards. Um, so yeah, tanning products um, and in between sessions. Stop waxing, plucking, or threading because you're gonna have permanent results with this. Um, and shaving is what we recommend. So that's just a little info on our on our um, pre-laser console card, and then there's an after home care that we'll send you home with. All right, what's next? Um, How what? long is it? Yeah, this one. What do I need to bring oh, for my first appointment? What do I need to bring for my first appointment? Um, just you. You need to have your hair um, clean and um, and fresh shaven. Um, yeah, I have it shut fast, showered, and cleaned. Um, the, if it's anything personal areas, um, we have our new product line that we're going to be launching called I Love My Muff, something super fun. Um, so Megan gives you a, um, a package of that on the spa bed, um, and she'll leave to go get changed, um, and you can, you can use that if you need to, and obviously we have a bathroom that if you need to freshen up first. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. That's pretty much it. That's yeah. it, because we have... Um, yeah, we have everything, so there's not too much to bring, just you. Okay, what was our next question that sent in? Um, what should I expect after an appointment? And that will be care, some of right? these, yeah. Perfect. Uh, post, post care. Post care, so you want to avoid, so the first 24 hours after, you want to avoid strenuous exercise. Um, sweat can irritate the area. Um, avoid swimming in chlorinated water. You want to avoid hot baths, showers, hot tubs, saunas, um, and avoid direct sunlight, as we mentioned. You want to make sure you're applying that SPF um, at least 30 or more. Um, what else? And then we've got Three to four days after, avoid touching, rubbing, peeling, or picking of the skin in treatment area. Um, if there are scabs or blisters, avoid makeup. And gently apply aloe vera gel to the treated area. And you may also, if you are super irritated, you can put um, a cold pack on there or ice just to soothe. So what we found in our 
in our trainings and our clients so far is that the skin actually is better after a laser mm -hmm. treatment. So if you had some irritation um, because of the facial rejuvenation section of it, it actually repairs some of that. And um, and waxing, you always have um, removed the follicles, so there's always some level of irritation with that um, and open pores, and you're not going to have that. You're not going to have any pustules after, like, waxing, your, your hair follicle gets inflamed. You won't have that. Um, so it's just removing of the hair, and you might smell that hair. It might be a little bit red or a little bit itchy yeah. if it is in the sun. Um, so the creams and soothing creams, but it would only be like that for one or two days and then back to completely normal. And your skin feels smooth, like, right mm -hmm. away. Um, and not just from the shaving, from actually the treatment. Yeah. Okay, who's the next one? Mine or yours? Biggest benefit? Okay. Um, yeah. Someone asked what the benefit of laser hair removal is, is that you're going to see the results right away, and 20% of the hair right from the first treatment won't grow back. Um, most clients will notice skin improvement and overall smoothness and then they can skip the shower, skip the razors in the shower and have that extra time, right? Um, and lifetime of hair free. So those are all great things about it. And any questions? So this was for you guys to ask us questions. So we went through all the questions that um, clients had submitted and were asking us in the salon. But if you have any, we can answer now. And then we were gonna do a little giveaway to the person that participated the most. And I know who that is so far. <laughs> Is there anyone that has any questions while you're watching? Yay, Beth, thanks for coming tomorrow. Are you excited about your treatment? She's already had her consult, so she knows what to expect. And Beth was one of, um, one of our contests, so you won your first treatment, so that's awesome. Okay, so there's no questions. So I will announce that the winner of the $25 gift card is Lauren, and I think you're watching. So yay, Lauren, um, thank you. If you have any other questions or interested in laser hair removal, I would say the biggest thing to do is um, book a consult so that um, they can see your skin and you can go through the medical history and, and any questions and go through it all. Very exciting, yes, Beth, thank you. Um, thank, yay, Lauren, yeah. <laughs> um, thanks so much, guys, for watching. We will post this to our Facebook page and see if we can get it on our Instagram, too, so that um, people can keep coming back if there was any questions that they missed. And um, we are so excited about our new technology. Yes. It's um, going to be an awesome addition to Tangles, and Megan's going to spend most of her time in the spa room, <laughs> and then Mariah, our new nail tech, is going to spend her time outside in the manicure pedicure area, and it's all fantastic. Um, we're excited about our new technology and giving people <laughs> hair free, free for a yes. lifetime. It's just yeah. incredible in technology that we've really always looked at, but oh, no. it wasn't really the time, so now it was, and it's perfect. Um, thanks, Christy. Thanks so much. Thanks, Lauren. We will see everyone later. We're going to sign off and take care. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>